for everyone that's on the call. Uh, good afternoon. This is Mike Cowell with the Greater Des Moines Partnership. Uh, thank you for attending this seminar. Um, before we get started, just real briefly, I want to let you know what we're going to do today is have you keep your microphones muted um, just to keep the crosstalk down. Um, we would also ask that you turn off your video to save bandwidth. And please open up your chat room um, so that everyone gets a chance to ask questions and see the questions that are asked. Well, Bill, I think we're probably ready. If you want to go, I've made you a co-host. If you want to go ahead and share your screen. There it is. You should have it, Mike. Perfect. I apologize, team. Hey, everybody has to begin somewhere. So you're doing fine. So I Bill, if you- this is a great lead in. Go ahead, this Mike. This is a great lead in. So uh, why don't you begin? Well, as the, uh, as the intro fairly demonstrated, I'm not a highly technical person. And so as we talk about affiliate marketing today, my perspective will be more of a business one, a business owner, founder, how we got into it, how we set it up, what we did to get it to work, and then a lot of the lessons learned along the way. Some were, were positive, some not so positive, but we did learn a lot, we evolved a lot, we discovered a lot. So I think a lot of the value will be in how how we learned our way forward and what we ended up doing to make it all work at the end. And WinPro is a unique company. We are uh, the world's only uh, manufacturer marketer of blood protein supplements. Uh, these are supplements made for dogs, uh, active dogs, and uh, dogs that are fighting, dealing with the effects of inflammation. It comes from a lot of places, and it's a really simple business model. We have a partner in Oregon that manufactures our products for us. Uh, we target in all of our marketing efforts, uh, dog moms, uh, women that own dogs. They care for them, they nurture them, they love on them, um, and they're willing to invest in them. Uh, we are an online sales and marketing company, and the majority of our sales are through online resellers, including Amazon, Chewy, and we also sell directly from our site. So we are a B2C company. We are looking uh, for affiliates that can influence dog moms. And most of the time it's to make a purchase. However, we have used affiliates to also do things like get people to uh, give us their email addresses for future marketing uh, efforts, uh, enter contests, uh, do other things, different kinds of actions. But primarily we use the affiliate network to help us generate sales. Uh, when we talk about affiliate candidates, we've tapped into a number of areas and some of these are very self-evident some are maybe not so much and what you'll see too is that there is can be some overlap for instance uh thought leaders are oftentimes bloggers uh, bloggers oftentimes do product reviews um, it, it's a combination sometimes sometimes it's not and we try to make it easy for affiliates to sign up and then we do a really really thorough job in vetting them investigating them trying to figure out are they really a good fit for us Probably the most important thing before you go out and try to um, identify candidates is to really think through and identify your target audience. And that's key because when you look at what really makes an affiliate work, it's a combination of some pretty important things. Credibility is very high on the list. How much credibility, how much sway, how trusted are they by the audience? Reach, how, how much reach do they have and how do they reach them? And with what consistency and frequency? passion for the product. We, we are um, a B2C. We are all about the consumer. We're all about dog moms. And for us, the passion around the product is critical. It's absolutely critical. And we haven't found any way to violate that. It just seems to be our, our cardinal truth. I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. Energy, uh, high energy people willing to invest, willing to get out there and tell the story, spread the word and do it with enthusiasm and passion. Having good savvy, some, some good basic skills and, and, you know, love for social media and technology helps a lot too. And if they have the ability to create and share content, that's just a wonderful lucky strike extra. Uh, our objective is to try to create win-win-win outcomes. And that would be a win for WinPro, a win for the partners we sign up, and a win for the dog moms. That 
eventually buy the product because the product will help their dogs. It'll help them have better lives. It'll help their dogs live longer. And our goal is simply we're out through our affiliate network to increase revenue and to, across the entire marketing mix, try to generate as high of a return on ad spend and as low of CPA as we can. And when we got into this thing, I'm not going to lie, we were focused on the right side of that uh, think and not um, you know, list on the, on the screen. We were really thinking when we got into this, it was a plug and play. We were just going to go out and find a bunch of people, generate a lot of sales transactions. It was all about quantity. We're going to make a lot of money. It's going to come in quickly. And it turned out to be very different. Um, what you want to think about and really focus on is relations, creating relations, uh, and quality of relation, quality of affiliate, quality of reach and messaging, quality of credibility, and the process, which will be a discovery process. It's a pretty simple thing how it works. Uh, again, I, I don't really represent the back end technical piece of it, but I can kind of tell you the overview of how it works for most situations. Um, your partner, we sign up, they're going to get the game one of two ways. They're either going to show a link on their site that we would provide along with a banner ad. A consumer that comes to their site, the affiliate site, would click on that link and they would jump over to our website and possibly make a purchase. Another thing our program allows them to do is they can generate their own promo codes and they can hand these out in various ways, at trade shows, other site, and literature, however works the same way. They would just come to our site, enter the promo code. And once that happens, uh, Cookie, of course, is, um, is, is downloaded to the uh, search engine, the browser of the consumer. It then tracks everything that happens post-link and eventually will follow the consumer to the buy box. Once the purchase is made, the affiliate gets credit for it. And in our case, we're a Shopify uh, company. We use Shopify for all of our e-com. It's a SaaS platform. Works really well and they've got a module for affiliates, for affiliate programs. And it's really pretty simple. You just populate it as you wish, create your program. We do use a local resource to help us optimize that, but for the most part we do the majority of the work ourselves. And so we manage the program pretty much internally with some outside help as we need it. We'll talk a little bit about that in a minute too. It's, um, it's amazing how much information is online about affiliates. Uh, affiliate marketing right now is very popular. A lot of folks are looking at it. You can find all kinds of top 10 lists, top 15 lists. I saw one on the top 17 list today. I'm not promoting any of these. There's just a lot of information out there. There's a lot of folks offering help and networks and service. If you didn't use a SaaS uh, platform like Shopify or BigCommerce, you can use, use one of these and set it up on your own. How it works, uh, most companies, especially startups, small businesses, just getting into it and even beyond that, you do most of it yourself. You do it in-house. And um, if it's not overly ambitious, it's something you can do. We do it. We have one person that works part-time on it. They like it. They bring a lot of passion to it. They make it fun. And that seems to work well for us. As you get bigger, and kind of the rule of thumb is around $8 million in sales. You're going to have probably a fairly large affiliate program, probably a number of candidates or not candidates. In this case, you'll have affiliates actually active. You may want to look at having some outside help. We, as I share, do a hybrid, the majority of it in-house. And then we use Now Now locally. Now Now is in Des Moines. And we use them to help optimize, do certain things, um, just try to continue to make it better. Uh, this is a lot of words. I'm not going to read this. I'm just going to point out some key things, uh, the overview of the product, some of the high points. Now, again, the program is yours to create. It all depends on your business model and your margins because you know, it's incentivizing purchase. So you have to think about it. it's going to come off your revenue. It's going to be a cost, marketing cost. What we figured out over time, and this took us a while, we seem to get pretty good results. We um, give 10% uh, to the to the affiliate as a commission for every new first time purchase. So if a consumer comes to the affiliate site, they see the link that we provided with a banner ad, they click on it, they'll have 50 or 60 days to make their purchase. And we pay everything to our affiliates via PayPal quarterly. Now you can cut checks, you can do EFT. Again, there are a lot of options. You just gotta decide what you think works best for you. 
Uh, the promo code, let's talk about that for a second. Um, that is um, also a means to create a sale and commission for the affiliate. You create that yourself once we uh, approve you as an affiliate, if you're an affiliate of ours. And here, we to incentivize that first purchase, we give the consumer 15% uh, off on their first order. So for the first order, first time user, we pay a total of 25% commission, 10 to the affiliate and 15 to the consumer. Now, that's 25% off SRP. That's a pretty good total. Uh, however, we're a consumable product with a hopefully a 30-day uh, purchase cycle. So for us, the first purchase is huge. We, we want that very dearly. We're willing to pay for it. If we were a lower, lower margin product and she is once in a dog's life, then we probably wouldn't be as aggressive. Now, to show the other side of this thing, there are some affiliates that are very large. That's all they do. They're professional uh, commission generators. For consumer products, they won't look at them unless they generate something on the order of 40 to 50% commission just for the affiliate. We have not chased those. We know people that have, and uh, I've, I've not heard good results. So we don't chase the big uh, commission players, but uh, we're, we're working in a different way, and I'll share a little bit about that in a minute. We do provide support. Uh, we also give the affiliate 15% discount on WinPro purchases for their dog. We do set a minimum because we do have a freight, uh, you know, a shipping charge, so we try to cover that. And then this is really important. Um, we do have a minimum. They have to have a minimum performance and we, we, we review it every quarter. And we do drop off um, low performing or non-performing affiliates over time. And then we continue to sign up new affiliates too as we go on. So that's how that works. We make it easy for people. This is the landing page of our uh, website down in the right hand corner. You can see an affiliate program uh, hot link. They just go to that. It opens up an application. We're getting better and better at designing this application. This is something that now now helps us with because we continue to see evolve. And I'm just showing a very small piece of it. We also show all the terms on the side so there's no confusion. This is a really good vetting tool for us. It's kind of like trust but verify. That's how we go about it. And again, we get we're getting better at this all the time. Sometimes um, affiliates will pretend to be an affiliate or a candidate, and they're really just looking for discounts and their own stuff they buy. So just, you know, it's, it's, it's out there. It happens. You just got to be aware of it and try to avoid it the best you can. Uh, some lessons learned. This is kind of after three years. What were, you know, where did we end up? What, what did we learn? What are some of the things you might take advantage of? Um, the affiliate program is a really great tool. It's a, it's a good way to generate revenue. It's a good way to bring consumers into your franchise, but it's just one piece of the marketing mix. That said, the more of all components of the marketing mix you invest in, the better your affiliate program works. So it's like a tide lifting all boats, and, and that's definitely the case. Um, we found out that you just can't put it out there and expect it somehow to work. There is a discipline, there is an investment. You need to prioritize it. Uh, you wanna to try to keep it fresh, keep content going out to your affiliate network and know that the 80-20 rule is gonna apply and that's okay. 80% uh, of who you sign up are not gonna be effective affiliates. At least that's our experience. But 20% that stick are gonna be great. You're gonna to wanna to have them. They're gonna be great relationships and good people and good revenue generators. As I shared, you want some sort of a minimum so you can drop people out of the pool as if they are not performers. And that's just the way it is. You sign them up, they understand that, no hard feelings. And nor, we have never had a complaint about that. They know they're not doing it. They know they're not generating sales and that's, that's how it works. Um, like I say, give your affiliates a discount. It's a, good, it's a good idea, it's good business and it keeps them excited about your product because they see the product working over and over in their dogs in this case. And like I say, beware of some of the consumers out there just pretending to be affiliates. Uh, start small, that's our suggestion. You know, I think we went out way, way too ambitious. We tried to sign up the world and we, we didn't do a good job. We couldn't service it, we couldn't vet them right. We, we didn't create the outcome we wanted. So we backed it down and streamlined it and really focused it. Be patient, you know, it's not gonna explode overnight out of the gates, it's gonna take time. It just will, like any program. And I say, don't chase rabbits. Invest in a very in a few really good relationships and build it from there. Then add affiliates as you go. 
and invest in them. We, we have a saying at WinPro, love on them. We've got to love on our affiliates this week. And we, we do. We mean that. It's just we, you got to sometimes just reach out and give them love and attention and care. They love samples. They like support. Uh, and here's another real good lesson we learned. We were so intent on selling products early on and creating points of distribution that we were trying to push pressure our affiliates to become dealers. Good affiliates don't want to stock inventory. They don't want to deal with transactions. They don't want to deal with taxes and merchandising. Uh, dealers and retailers do, but affiliates don't. And we were really trying to make affiliates into dealers and that wasn't working at all. Uh, like I said earlier, there is no rule of thumb on commission. You either figure that out. You can be as aggressive or not aggressive as you want. You can split the commissions out however you want. It's up to you. Uh, and we found that, and this is again a B2C, um, a, a dog product, something that, you know, you're, you're, it's an intimate, intimate part of your family. People love dogs in America. We treat them just like kids. We found if our affiliates aren't truly super passionate about Land Pro, they, they just don't get a lot done. And some more learning, um, getting near the end. Um, this is something you always want to think about. Your affiliates are definitely part of your sales and marketing team. So you always want to think about them as that, that, in that context, especially as you're putting things together in your plans and then you're putting content together and you're sharing content. Also, your affiliates, they're on the front line. They're dealing with um, tons of people, lots of potential consumers, the market realities, everything, every day. And they're really great about sharing feedback. Sometimes you don't want to hear it. Sometimes it can be a little bit unvarnished, but it's value, highly valuable. And they're willing to share it backward and usually for free. So we, we try to tap into them for, for a lot of different things. They go well beyond generating commissions and sales for WinPro. Um, they love news. So if you're coming out with a new product, you've got a new feature, just something somebody's, talk, somebody's talking about you, give it out to your affiliates because, you know, they've got their own, you know, their own spheres of influence and they can reshare that and get good value for it and help you at the same time. Same with repurchasing, uh, repurposing, excuse me. If we do something, we update brochures, we update anything, try to make sure the affiliates get it just as long as anybody else, any other customer, anybody else, other stakeholder in the company and try to make it part of your discipline. And this is something we've got really good at. Uh, we try to, whenever we go to a trade show, we try to understand what affiliates are going to be there and what roles can they play for us. One of the best things they can do is uh, do uh, Facebook Live inter interviews at uh, trade shows. We have affiliates who can interview other affiliates, help each other at these shows. Also a good idea for you to always share with your affiliates where you're going so they can come and support you at shows. And that's really incredible to have someone wandering the show with a huge amount of credibility and objectivity and promoting you and telling people, hey, you got to get over to that booth and check out that WinPro. You won't believe what that's doing for my dog. And then, uh, just like I've been kind of preaching, try to reach out to them with some frequency, some sort of frequency. We try to get out to them every quarter and bring them some love, bring them some attention, bring them some content, and they'll love it. And also, if affiliates are sharing content with their audiences, have them share it with you, and some of them create fantastic content. It's a little video, all sorts of things, testimonials, it'll blow you away. You want to get that in your hands so you can get that out to all the other affiliates so they can use it. And, you know, at the end of the day, you get, you get some great measures and great metrics. And these are all important and they all help you understand the ROIs of your spend, whether it's on the affiliate marketing program or across any or other digital marketing efforts. And this is all key stuff that um, you know, helps you understand your business. If you're going to go out and pitch for capital, some of these are critical, telling the story. And it is a very data robust world. There's a lot of information out there and it's all part of these programs and however you go at it i'm sure you'll have a menu of these things you can tap into as you wish and lastly um we try to make it fun and celebrate success and affiliates there is a little bit of competitiveness among the best ones the top ones they have a little competitive streak to them so every quarter or so we'll publish who our top 10 are how much they've generated sometimes we'll award prices and it gets them talking to each other, sharing success stories so they get better together. And that's the uh, the end of it. And um, let's so see, Bill, Mike, this is Mike we Caldwell. Some... Yeah, we've got yes, a question Mike. from Olga here. Can you see that on your screen? 
No, I don't know where that okay. went, Mike. I apologize. All right. no, that's okay. So her question is, what is the affiliate app name you guys use and how much does it cost monthly? Oh, that's a great question. Mr. Tim Mitchum would have the answer in the top of his head. It's not a lot of money. I'll tell you that. It's a Shopify um, product. Just plug in. Uh, it's very inexpensive. It's so small. I We don't even talk about it. I know that's not a great answer. But that's the nice thing about the SaaS platform like Shopify. They already got the product created. You just got to, you know, grab it and use it. Any Good idea what the, what the name of that item is? I don't, Mike. But, you know, what I can sure um, email that to the uh, the young lady who asked the question. Well, I'll tell you what. Just go ahead and email it to me, and I'll get it out to everybody when I, when I copy okay. it. Okay. Good, Good enough, sure. Mike. Yeah. yeah. Happy to do that. So you want the name of the app and the cost, right, Mike? App name and cost? Yeah. She says, I'm actually looking to add it to my site, and that would be very useful to know. So Olga yeah. and everybody it else will get that yep. to you. Uh, and then Tyler has a question for you. Uh, which social platform has been the most successful for affiliates? That's a good question. We use several in conjunction with one another. Facebook, no doubt, no doubt. And here's why, you know, that's, that's, that's a three prong answer. One, in the world of dogs, there is no behavior more ingrained than dog owners wanting to share pictures and stories about their dogs. They talk about them more than their kids. They always want to show people silly things their dogs are doing, how cute their dog is, and what the, you know, costume they put on their dog at thinks or at Halloween. So they're incredibly active in posting update stories, pictures of their dogs. Uh, secondly, we discovered, and you guys can check this out, there's a little company up in Dubuque, Iowa called Forge, F-O-U-R-G-E. And we spent three years, you know, trying our mightiest to try to get something going with Facebook to create some outcomes to really generate a business there. And that's all they do. They're a social marketing agency and they're very, very good. They're very affordable. They're a pleasure to work with. And they are probably in the, in the Midwest uh, about as savvy in the world of Facebook marketing, Facebook um, everything that there is. And they just took us from a two to a ten in content and, and the way we go at it, strategy and execution. And then the third thing is, you know, we we started getting more and more as we got new consumers to come in, especially in the in the Facebook platform. They began to be our advocates they began to answer questions they began to market for us which you know a year and a half ago i could literally see every facebook pay, post every facebook post to win pro and i could answer them that night i mean i could if i wanted to now we had forge doing it that was part of our program with them which was another great thing they're incredibly good writers and they they respond to virtually every facebook post if they can get to it now what i'm saying there we've come a long ways. We've got so many now passionate consumers excited about WinPro that they're answering questions before we can get to them. So if a question's posted tonight into WinPro, you know, our, our Facebook page, we might have three consumers jump in before we can even get to it. So that just created a huge amount of inertia and reach and voice that we didn't have to pay for. But that only came through success with others, yeah. Bill, don't you think that the, the social platform is going to depend on the product? Because I know that some of the companies I work with who are business-to-business -business companies, their success is coming on LinkedIn, where I can totally get, I mean, <laughs> most of oh, my yeah. friends have dogs. So when I'm on Facebook, it's dog central, and I get that. But it's not business-to-business -business yeah. software central. So uh, I no. think it's going to be somewhat. And does that have a lot to do with who the affiliate is? Don't they use their own? avenues if you will Ab absolutely yeah that's that's an additional strategy and marketing effort to your own they're all going to be doing their own marketing efforts and they're going to do what they think works best and complement your own or not hopefully yes i would think that would be something that people should be asking is what platforms are you using or how do you reach the people that you are connected to that is a good question yeah. and try to align the two and share content across the the two well, yeah, because I would think some good affiliates are going to take you places into groups, especially that you don't have access to. And Facebook's all about private groups. And uh, absolutely access to those is tough sometimes. Oh, it is. And, you know, and, and all this stuff, video is king. You know, um, we, we actually do 
some studies where we look at different things that have worked and how much better some things work than others. And you've seen, I'm sure these are numbers you see posted online. There's internet, um, Google um, articles about it all the time, how effective, how powerful video testimony and video in general as content media is, right. especially in some of these social media platforms. It just makes a huge, huge difference. And now one of the things we've done, which is really great, is we have ongoing programs where we and invite and um, incentivize video testimonial that then we repurpose onto social media. Mm, so that's that something you can also sense. do. Yeah. yeah. That makes and affiliates sense. are pretty good at that. Yeah. And where we get a lot of that traction is with dog trainers, which are great affiliates, by the way, because they touch a lot of people and they have high credibility and reach. Sure. So I've got another question here that came in. It says, what are your affiliates average number of products? Trying to get a feel for the exclusivity of a product uh, would have in the eyes of an affiliate. So I guess it's kind of like, is, do, does exclusivity matter to affiliates? I think it does on a, on a category level. What okay. I mean by that is, let's just say there's a dog trainer because everybody kind of understands, you know, the world of dogs. Good dog trainer. Um, we would we would want to be we would insist to be, and they would probably agree that we would be the only supplement they would promote. Now okay. they could be promoting dishes and e collars and leashes and all sorts of other things. We don't care about that. But when it so comes some to of the our, have, yeah. So when it comes to your affiliates, some of them may have a tremendous number of products that they're presenting and then others may have a few is that an accurate statement uh you know mike there you're touching on that problem i talked about before the what we call the super affiliates the high commission mm -hmm. sign up a lot of brand guys oh, sure. girls they will have they could have a hundred or more and they don't do you any good okay they're, they're, they they try to it, they, it's impressive when they show you the followings they have I and mean, we have lab bloggers yellow yellow black chocolate lab the world of labradors we know some bloggers that have two, three million followers, but they want 50% commission and they'll, they'll have 50, 60, 100, 150 brands they're, they're pitching. There's just no, no benefit. You can't, you can't get anywhere in that model. Sure. That makes sense. Makes yeah. perfect sense. Yeah. So you talked about Forge and Dubuque and you said it's F-O-U-R-G-E. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course, into view. They're great people, uh, hard workers. Uh, right. Give us a lot of attention, tremendous uh, value. And I don't know anybody that knows Facebook better, really. Okay. Yeah, and I, you know, it's kind of hard because there's, there are a tremendous number of marketing firms out there. And uh, that specialty of getting traction in a certain space is really important. I struggled to find somebody that could help on Amazon. Uh, with not so much affiliate, but just with marketing on Amazon, ended up finding somebody in Minneapolis who was quite good at it. And it's, uh, it uh, has been a, uh, let, let's say she's gotten a lot more business in Des Moines since I met her. So, uh, <laughs> well, that sounds like deja vu because our Amazon experience, we, it took us three partners um, in yeah. Facebook, it took us three partners, and uh -huh. probably most things, it took us at least two, if not three or more. So that's caught part of that discovery thing I was talking about earlier. Hey, Olga just popped back in and said, it looks like the affiliate program they use is Refersion, <laughs> Refers, I don't know, R-E-F-E-R-S-I-O-N affiliate. Oh yeah, I think she's right. Yeah, I think that's okay. correct. All right. Good. And it's $89 there, a month. Olga. Yeah, that sounds about right. Sounds about yeah. right. What do you think you yeah. spend a month as just basic expenses when when you look at your full? And I mean, you're pretty good size scale. You do a lot of business, but what do you think you're spending mm -hmm. a month, if you don't mind my asking, about running your affiliate programs? Not commissions, just to enable the affiliate program. Oh, Mike, I'd say all in, and a lot of it's content and just people time. Uh, I'd say $1,500 a month, probably. And then, of course, we spend quite a bit more with Forge and, um, you know, paid advertising and other things. That's just right. all adds to it. But that's beyond the affiliate program, per se. And you're covering. I mean, now that you've got it working, that's more than being covered by sales and new sales oh, coming in. Yeah, our, absolutely. Our top three affiliate. Oops, let's see. We're going to do some more. Take. We're, we're probably running our top three generate monthly $1,000 plus commissions, just their piece of it. Wow. 
and that's so a very small good percentage. ROI. Yeah, very good that's ROI. a very good ROI. Because again, and that's you're not relationship, to get Mike. Yeah. No, that's relationship. That's that's time invested. That's passion for the product. That's reach. That's credibility. Yeah. Sorry, I interrupted you, Mike. No, it's okay. I was just thinking because it also you're not trying to get a customer once. You're trying to get them to keep buying over time, keep going back for more. It's a, like you said, it's a consumable product. And whenever you look at the what's the ROI on my uh, ad spend or affiliate spend, it's how many times you get paid. So, and mm -hmm. there's another question here that says, over time, are you looking to increase or decrease your use of affiliates? Oh, definitely increase. Uh, we're we're much more selective today. We've got a better feel, a sense of who who's really real, and we're looking to you know add components that reach segments that maybe we're not reaching so well. And again, if they're if they have a high ability to generate really high production value video and know how to distribute it, they're they're pretty gold to us. And in the dog world, you know, we we've got all these wonderful breeds. Um, my family, we have three dogs. We are a Labrador family, but you've got Isla families, you've got Golden Doodle families, you've got all of these wonderful, there's 550 some breeds of dog. And there, there's people that just talk about breeds and what's unique about breeds and they celebrate the breeds. And then you can come back and cut it a different way. And you talk about lifestyles, you got field trial, you've got um, agility trial people, you've got fly ball people, you've got hunt tests and hunters. and Oh, there's just so many wonderful, rich ways to slice and dice it. And the context is different. Your influence is different. Your reach is different. Your credibility is different. But every one of them is a beautiful uh, add-on component to an affiliate marketing program. And so in all really, cases, the dogs, yeah, go ahead, Mike. Oh, no, I was just going to say, you really have a tremendous number of niches you could work. Oh, it's going to take us many. Well, of course, we're getting bigger. We're able to spend more money. We're getting more investment, so it'll accelerate. But yeah, we have a long run. We have a long runway there, Mike. And yeah, all I mean, the dogs a, we're talking about, they need WinPro. Yeah. Well, it's a double-edged sword, isn't it? Because if you've got to go to the category person for each one, if there's 500 plus uh, breeds of dog, you may have to find an affiliate for every one of them to truly get the market going your way. So. Yeah, I guess you're right. I mean, I hope not. It's just some people are like, oh, great, more niches. And it's like, well, maybe. Um, <laughs> so interesting, very interesting. Well, any other questions out there from the audience? I'm looking, we still have quite a few people in the, in the session. Um, Bill, anything else you wanted to add that you thought of? I, I guess I'd ask you to do one thing. Can you go back a slide? Yeah, sure can, Mike. There was a... a Cost per action. I know most of these other uh, measurements, but what is CPA or cost per action? An action could be a purchase. It could be a, you get them to sign up for a newsletter. You get them to enter a contest. Just take some sort of action that's trackable. And it's the action you're, you can, in essence, funding this affiliate to do. Mm -hmm. You're so going to find an action. Okay, some so cost, it's, yeah. it's like a cost. It's not a cost per click at all, but it's kind of like cost per sale. Outcome. Cost for outcome. Cost for outcome. Okay, great. Perfect. So yeah. we found early on that when we were, you know, really struggling in our, we, and we, you know, we're no, we're no Purina Nestle yet, but when we were really starting out. We were fighting for every sale. And we found one of the best things we could do was incentivize our affiliates to bring us uh, really good quality um, emails. But, you know, that's, there's a process in that because people have to opt in. But we were actually incentivizing people to um, bring email addresses to us that were blessed and, and legitimate that we could put into our system because that was one of our absolutely one of our most powerful, effective uh, marketing uh, te techniques back then. It still is much bigger today, and we still love it. It's a, we do a quarterly promotion, and it really is our probably our best ROI promotion option. And so it isn't just. You know, we think about affiliates equals commissions equals sales, but there's a lot they can do that's trackable that isn't a sale, but could lead to them. No, that's a great point. So you've basically, they have been helping you build your email list internally mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you're marketing to that list on a quarterly basis, which makes a tremendous amount of sense. I think about some of the groups that I, things that I buy that I get the email every so often and they'd say, oh, do inspire a purchase. 
Absolutely. And, you know, Mike, there's a trust there. You know, we as manufacturers and marketers, you know, we forget how jaundiced the consumer is. They're, they're, they're bombarded every day to uh, sign up for emails, you know, to, to you know, get newsletters, to, to give up their email. They're, they're always being chased to give up their email. And I don't do that. I, I refuse to do that. But if an affiliate talks to them and they trust and know them and they're credible and they say, God, this WinPro stuff, you guys, you need to get your dog on this. Wow, it changes everything. Oh, sure. I'm in. It's the, it's the warm referral. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the classic yeah. warm referral of saying, who do you use for insurance for your business? Oh, I use ABC person. Guess what? Who's going to get a phone call? I mean, it's a versus what am I going to do? Look online um, at 100 plus insurance agents that claim they're, you know, business insurance people. So it makes perfect sense that that would work. And then a corollary to that is on their website. If they're promoting WinPro and it's not WinPro, there's an automatic endorsement credibility. Because if we're saying it, oh yeah, they're the marketer. They're always they're going to tell us whatever they want to tell us. Not so much a trainer or a vet or a nutritionist. Holy cow! Now it's completely different. Yeah. Well, that's another real big value of an affiliate you don't even pay for. And that marketing research thing I talked about, guys. Uh, boy, oh boy, they, they are in circles and conversations and competitions and, and places that we can't even begin to think about being part of, and they can play that back to you. All you got to do is ask. It's free. Yeah. What's an example of using that in your business? Well, you know, we oftentimes will think, oh gosh, you know, we're going to run out of product. We're, we're working on some new products right now, Mike. And I think we're going to have some really great new products real soon. We use it to get a gauge as their interest, as their legitimate interest in a new product before we go to the effort of developing it because it's really expensive and time consuming to develop a product. Sure. We have to do a uh, formulation. We have to do packaging designs. We have to do the entire selling around it, all the marketing collaterals. So yeah. I use them a lot for that kind of thing. And if we think there's a better way to say some things, sometimes we'll run different things by consumers. Now you can't go out and say, or an affiliate. We can't go out and say, hey, how should I say this? But you can say, hey, here's a couple different ways of representing something visually, which is most compelling to your to your world. And they'll talk yeah. to their people and come back to us. So. That, that's really interesting to use them for that research because they've got a, a very targeted group of people. That's great. I know, and Mike, no one's more excited and grateful that you've asked them. Because you're you're telling them you're important, you're valuable, you, yeah. you know shit. We want to know it. Share it, and we'll love you more. Yeah, you're not just and asking for another sale. Yeah, no, nope. makes perfect sense. And they know together we'll get better. Together we'll get better. We'll we'll all sell more. We'll all sell more yeah. and get more dogs in the franchise. Because that's what this is about: is helping dogs. It is. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Bill, I think we're running out of questions now. It looks like people are saying thank you. And um, you've got, I know you didn't see it there, but you've got quite a few thanks here from people. Uh, a nice oh, my work. pleasure. Thank you. So I think we'll, we'll tie it off here. Uh, I would just say to the audience out here, you all have my email address. Um, you got an invite from me. If you can think of any other questions for Bill in the next day or so, feel free to send them to me and I will pull some information together based on those. And when we send out the uh, link to the video in a couple of days in the blog post, um, it'll have the content from today, the slides, and it will also have uh, any feedback that Bill provides to your questions. So Bill, with that, I want to thank you very much. And to all of you attended, thank you. Everyone have a great day and uh, be safe. Thanks, Mike.